Friends here. I am so glad you joined me today. I've got something kind of new and different, and it's short and sweet. I'm not going to keep you all day, but it's something that I saw and heard about, and I have to share. It is the most remarkable technique in the universe. I am going to show you a technique that is the easiest trick ever in making a cut crease. Ladies, I'm not kidding. And this is from Mature Hooded Eyes. You know how we can never get that sexy looking cut crease in there? And you know the cut crease is when you separate your transition line up the top with a dramatic line between your uh, transition line and your lid. This is the difference. I've always wanted to have like the most perfect and be able to do it by the way girlfriends okay uh cut crease ever and as we get older we get crepey and the skin kind of moves around back and forth and we can never get that great cut crease well thanks to risa does makeup and if you do not know risa i am gonna have her listed down below listen she is one of the hottest makeup artists in that 40 plus category. She is dynamite. She shows easy ways of doing things and you come out looking so freaking fabulous. I love her technique. She's been a makeup artist for years and years. And when she did this video, I said, I got to do that. I got to show my ladies. It's so lovely. <laughs> and it's easy. And it's foolproof. But it is the easiest trick of all to get a cut crease. So Risa had watched the Maybelline commercial when Aaron Parsons was doing Emily D. Donato, uh, you know, the famous model, doing this cut crease on her. And she was using um, the Maybelline City Mini Palette. You know, it had a lot of the browns in it. And that's where Risa saw this and says, What? You have to be kidding. I've never seen a trick like this. And I'm a makeup artist. Well, you know what? I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I said, How in the world can you get such a gorgeous, softer cut crease for mature women and hey, girls, we can, and I'm going to show you, okay? Now, we know I'm not the makeup artist, Risa is. So, if you get, you know, bored with mine or whatever, I'm going to have her listed down below, and you can go check out Risa's. But this was inspired by Risa, and I have to do it, okay? And Risa, don't laugh at me, because you know I'm not the artist you are, okay, girlfriend? But this is the softer look that I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to be showing you step by step how I do it. There's a few things you're going to need and I will be telling you that as you go down the line. But ladies, get ready for the trick of the universe. Listen, I have always wanted to wear a cut crease and I'm, I'm going to wear this all the time now because now I found out an easy way to do it. And I got to practice. You know, I'm not that good at it. I mean, this was the first time I did, you know, this eye over here and I tried to kind of follow, you know, um, Risa what she did and I did an eye. And I can't say it was as good as her first eye, but that this is my first eye. And then I did the second eye. See, I got a little better there. And I'm sure by third, fourth, fifth time, I'm going to be a superstar and a pro at this. But all right, my ladies, I want you to hang tight. I want you to get ready for the time of your life. It is short and sweet, and you will love it. Hang on there. And for all of you new subbies that are joining me today, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is so nice to meet you. My heart goes out to you. I love you. I can't wait to know you better. Hang in there with me, girlfriend, and please scroll on down and hit that subscribe button. Listen, that really helps us all out a lot when you do that. And be sure and click that little bell. That'll be notifying in my upcoming videos. I film twice a week. Let's get going and learn how to cut our grease. Pin my hair back a little bit right here, just so I don't get a lot of shadow in it. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a transition line. Okay, so I'm going to take the same brush that I used over here for this eye. Okay, and I'm going in and I'm going to make a transition line. So I'm dabbing it into my brown color. I'm making circles. 
like a window washer type of effect here. Just back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to make sure that I really have it moving into this part of the eyebrow because it's going to make the cut crease really stand out. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to pick up another small, flat little brush. And this is a pommelon brush. I've had it forever. But as you can see, it's kind of flat around the edges. And I'm dipping that in a much darker brown color, okay? I'm just dipping the end, like yay, right in there. Okay, and I'm going right under here and just going to darken this line right under here. Just give it a little oomph, if you will, dimension, so to speak. Okay, do you see what I'm doing there? Okay, terrific. All right, just give it a little bit. Okay, all right, now. Let's talk cutting that crease, girl. All right, we're going to take a Q-tip. It has a pointed end here. It has a round end here. We need this pointed end because we're going to cut with this. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it in some Bioderma makeup remover. The pointed end is the one that we want wet, okay? All right. There we go, I've got it wet. Now, watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a stronger mirror here so I can make sure you all are seeing what I'm doing. All right, I'm going right in here and there's a little pouch right above my eyelid here, okay? So I'm gonna take my Q-tip and wipe it just like this. Now, of course, my skin's gonna move all over the place because it's not taut anymore. I am 71 years old. But as you can see, I am removing some of that product. And I'm going to keep doing this for a minute. As you can see, I'm removing that product from here. Now I'm going to take this and move this product off of my eyelids as well. That's right, just try to remove that product. And you can kind of see where this is going to be shaping this. Now remember, I mentioned it once before and I want to mention it again. A cut crease has to be more dramatic or let's say sharper, okay, in the top of the transition line, it separates the transition line from the lid line. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now that we've got that, I'm going to take a flat little brush like yay. As a matter of fact, I may use this one. It's a little tighter. I'll see how it goes. I may switch off. And I'm, so I'm going to take my synthetic brush and I'm going to wipe this brush right into my concealer just like this. All right. Now I'm going to go up here to my eyes. So watch this carefully. There again, let me pick up this mirror because I want you to follow this. We are going to right here just kind of make this line. And it's going to be hard because obviously I don't have the uh, tight skin anymore. But we're going to do this, ladies. We're going to give this a good shot we got. Okay, now I'm going to just clean it up here because when we can't 
hold it tight to do this, we just want to remove some of the excess standing in the way. Okay, and you can go back in with your concealer again. Turn it, that brush on that edge to get the sharpest cut right in there. Okay, and as you can see, we've just cut that crease. Now, we're going to let it just sit for just a second because I'm going to tell you what we're going to do right afterwards. We want to dress it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, you're going to take your palette again and that lighter color that you started with. And so what we want to do is take that white in there, that lighter color, and we're going to dab, 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 dab. We are more or less setting that concealer, is what we're doing. And this is why an eye like this is very, very difficult when we get older. Even though it looks great for a hooded eye, it's probably one of the best cuts you can have for a hooded eye. But because our skin is not taut and it moves all around, this is the problem we have. However, I found that this technique is the friggin' bomb. And then I simply pick up that little brush again where I made the darker line emphasizing that and I just run it right up in here. Okay? So there you go. Now, I am going to go uh put my liner on and my mascara and come back and show you the finished results okay all right girlfriends i'll be right back okay my ladies and that is the easiest peasiest way to do a soft cut crease on your eyes i hope you enjoyed this it's super simple i'll have any of the products listed down below that can help you with this i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers out there mwah, mwah, mwah. girlfriends it's so nice getting to know you you are hood girls you fun and to each and every one of my main subscribers i want you to stay sassy classy and confident and give me a big thumbs up on this video